Willy Wonka for rich people. You're watching Beyond the Trailer's review of The Great Gatsby. 1922, the tempo of the city had changed sharply. The buildings were higher, the parties were bigger, the morals were looser and the liquor was cheaper. The restlessness approached hysteria. Shall we? Who is this Gatsby? Do you know him? War hero. Mr. Gatsby doesn't exist. Gatsby? Oh, Gatsby. Forget explosions of fire in 3D. How about explosions of fireworks in 3D? Or flowers? Or of a dripping wet Leonardo DiCaprio? Yes, while well, Baz Luhrmann's The Great Gatsby is most notable for being the first 3D drama, that's not really the best selling point to get moviegoers to shell out Gatsby-like money for a movie ticket. So instead, Warner Brothers has cleverly decided to play up the opulence of the film. Brooks Brothers is offering Gatsby clothing. Tiffany's has Gatsby window displays overflowing with fake champagne and real diamonds, all part of their own Gatsby line of merchandise. And the Plaza Hotel, where a crucial scene in the film takes place, has Gatsby grub on sale in their food hall, plus a Gatsby suite, available for rent, designed by the film's production and costume designer, Catherine Martin. Martin is both Lerman's professional and personal collaborator, and some would argue she leaves as big a mark on their films as hubby Baz. Their most famous film to date is certainly Moulin Rouge, and Lerman argues he was ahead of the curve not only on the return of the movie musical, but also ballroom dancing. Will he soon be able to say the same about 3D dramas? Lerman says he got his inspiration from watching a 3D print of Alfred Hitchcock's Dial M for Murder, a good match for Lerman, who shares Hitchcock's eye for luxurious sets and deliberate camera work. And ironically, even though The Great Gatsby is in some ways F. Scott Fitzgerald's love letter to 1920s New York City, Lerman has shot his film almost entirely on sound stages and entirely in his native Australia. Lerman has also made the controversial choice of using modern music for the film, featuring a soundtrack produced by Jay-Z, featuring performers such as Beyonce, Lana Del Rey, and Florence and the Machine. Lerman and Jay-Z argue that rap is the evolution of jazz, but it's also smart to loop in a culture which loves lavish brands and parties as much as Jay Gatsby. But what about the story? This is the fourth time Hollywood has tried to adapt Fitzgerald's novel. The most notable is the 1974 version with Robert Redford and Mia Farrow. However, the story has never quite clicked with audiences. Plus, pretty much everyone has been forced to read The Great Gatsby in high school, but few would list it as one of their favorite or most memorable reads. Lerman argues this is the perfect time for The Great Gatsby, though, as it echoes the excess of wealth and abuse of power plaguing us today. So is The Great Gatsby the full package, brains, and beauty? Or just a lot of glitter and no substance? Let's go find out. Zoe is a BTT viewer. Yes. Right? Where are you visiting from? I'm from Brisbane, Australia. So Baz Luhrmann country. Yes. Right? Baz Luhrmann's a national <laughs> hero. Well, how does he do? Does he do you guys proud at this oh, movie? Oh, he did. He did such a good job. The critics are not being very nice to it. Is it a stinker? No, it's Ooh. fabulous. Haven't they ever had a dream? To me, it was like a beautiful dream. What okay. do you say to other guys who go, this is just a movie about flowers and parties. It's not for me. No, it's a lot of drama, a lot of excitement. I think that it's a really good attention getter and it's very suspenseful. Like, what do you think of the Gatsby parties? Oh my god, no, the book, the book it was like, it looked like it was a party, but that was like a festival. Would you guys want to go to a Gatsby party? Yeah. Yeah, they look pretty awesome. Leo DiCaprio is there, definitely. <laughs> Whose movie is it? DiCaprio, Lerman, or Catherine Martin? Ooh. DiCaprio was pretty great. Yeah. The Leonardo DiCaprio. Yeah. 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 I know. <laughs> Have you ever read the novel? Yes. Do you remember the novel? Yes, I do. <laughs> Is this a good adaptation? I thought it was wonderful. I love Gatsby and I studied it and my children have studied it and that interpretation day just brought it all to so much more depth. When I was reading it, it kind of was like a hard read in the beginning to get into the story because even while watching the movie, I'm like, wow, this all makes sense now, but there's still some kind of mystery to it. I loved Moulin Rouge. Yes. Uh -huh, and yeah. I, I think the only the only thing wrong with Moulin Rouge is that he didn't have 3D. The oh. costuming, the all the beautiful nature, the oh, scenery, the rain, gorgeous. it just worked Everything. perfectly in 3D. You didn't see it in 3D today. Do you no. feel like you missed anything by not seeing it that way? No, not at all. It was out there regardless. <laughs> I don't even think the 3D was necessary. What do you say to someone who sees all the bad reviews? I would say go see it anyway. If yeah. you're a Baz Luhrmann fan, then you're going to have to see it. I enjoyed the book, I enjoyed the movie, and I would recommend it to anyone. Best film. Oh. Except for Dr. Zhivago. Probably the best film I've ever seen. Wow, that's high praise. I love Dr. Shivago. Oh, Great I visuals. What do you give this one on a one to ten? 
I'm gonna give it a nine. A nine. I would give it a nine. Nine point five. Okay. I give it an eleven. Definitely a ten. Definitely a ten. A ten. <laughs> ten. I would give this a full ten. Ten. Oh, absolutely an eleven. Oh, I wow. I thought it was oh. wonderful. Once again, Jay Gatsby flies in the face of his critics as audiences give the film a ten. I'm Grace Randolph reporting from AMC Empire 25, and I hope we'll go beyond the trailer for these other top movies.